Welcome back folks and today we're using the K7 once again with the T450 surface cleaner and I'm going to be cleaning my patio. Now first we'll start off looking at what my patio state is in. Now this patio has never been cleaned. It's been like this since 1992. So that is minging. There's going to be no chance that the Karcher K7 is going to touch this. So before we start, first thing is to make sure your electrics are in a waterproof box so you can't get electrocuted. This is a cheap box you can buy off Amazon or eBay. At the bottom of the Karcher, you've got a straightforward hose connector. So connect that in. Also your main gun part to the main hose. This is the head of the surface cleaner, which is going to do all the work. So we put our water on. Connect our attachments. Very straightforward, push in and turn. And just remember to tighten that up. All we need to do is then turn on a karcher. And basically, you prime it first. I always make sure this is well turned up to full blast. And give it a prime, just to make sure the water is coming through. Seems to be coming through all right. Currently I've got this set on a hard setting, which hopefully is going to work better on these old slabs. It's coming off all right, but as you can see, it's not that brilliant at getting old moss off. Because that moss has been on there for a long, long time. I just love the way Karcher shows you how to clean a patio in their videos. But then that isn't the real world. This is the real world of cleaning. And as you can see, this is hard on grime. Now at extra cost, you can actually buy the chemical to clean the concrete. And this is a Karcher product. Because the surface cleaner isn't actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, I'm now going to swap it back to the three-in-one lance head. Now I'm going to be having it, it's basically like a concrete blaster and it goes really high speed blasting water at the slabs. So this should work a lot better. And now you can see exactly what we're going to be doing. So let's get blasting that dirt off and let's see if we can move it. That is looking as though it's coming off quite well but as you can see the moss is still sitting there it's Karcher head it's just not touching it there is a numbers of chemicals on the market on eBay and Amazon which I could have used to help clean this off now for cleaning your surface cleaner all you need is your lance and water and just clean it off it comes off really really easy if you do it right of way now if you leave it lying around it will stick to it so this is the finished results hmm not really up to it is it folks and just remember this is what Karcher says it's got a twin jet rotary arm which cleans large surfaces saving you 50% of the time <laughs> who are they actually kidding and if you like this type of content Please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!